coverage you can count on with meteorologist Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And looking east from our Muscle Shoals Skycam right now, you'll notice this guy right here. That's a developing thunderstorm moving through Limestone County, just bringing some heavier rainfall close to Elkmont. So we're already starting to see some of these developing showers and thunderstorms here, even in late afternoon hours and heading into the evening. But that's all out ahead of the main event, which will arrive later tonight and into the overnight hours. Lightning risks, especially for people that have outdoor plans, including Friday night football. But there's that chance for strong to even severe storms producing damaging straight line winds. And it's unlikely, but there is a low chance that we could even see a quick spin up tornado along that line. It looks like the greatest risk will come west of I-65, the closer you are to the shoals. And you can see that here with the latest severe weather outlook issued by the Storm Prediction Center. You'll notice the orange that ends right at the shoals. That's a two out of five severe risk. And then it drops off to a one out of five severe risk as you get closer to Morgan County, Madison County, and into Jackson County uh, all the way through here in the overnight hours. And again, we're expecting that line to continue to weaken as it moves closer to DeKalb County. So what we're seeing right now in the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Now, where we've got these pop-up showers, even some potential thunderstorms. A lot of these cells kind of moving in from out of northeast Mississippi, producing quite a bit of lightning like we're seeing right now but are weakening some as they move into Franklin and Colbert County, but still a lightning risk here this evening. Zooming in closer to Athens. Again, that's that cell that we were just looking at on our Muscle Shoals Skycam. This is moving to the east-northeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. If I were to track on this, likely staying just off to the north of Athens, but if it grazes it, it's going to arrive here at about 5.05. Elkmont High School closer to about 5.07. Again, keeping a close eye on some of that heavy rainfall moving to uh, the Pleasant Side area, uh, just off to the north and east of Seven Pines now. Again, that's producing some gusty winds and occasional cloud of ground lightning strike. But you can see these cells kind of setting up a shop right now off to our west into north East Mississippi. This next one should be arriving here in the next hour, crossing over the Mississippi Alabama state line. Seven o'clock this evening on future radar. We have those scattered pop up showers and thunderstorms. Again, that could still bring some delay to delays to some of the football games, but the main line that's it right there around 10 o'clock tonight, moving into the shoals and look how quickly it races over the I 65 quarter right over top of Athens, Decatur and Huntsville right around midnight tonight. This is at the point where we expect it to quickly start to weaken, but still producing some gusty winds. What's left of that line racing through Sand Mountain right over top of Fort Payne closer to about 2 a.m. And then that's it. Look how quickly the skies clear behind that. We're back to mostly sunny skies by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for everyone except for Jackson to Cab and Marshall County. But even for these areas, we're back to full sunshine all the way into your Saturday afternoon. Rainfall forecast and this goes all the way through tomorrow morning about a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall as you get into these deeper greens and blues on the map. But it's not just the gusty winds from the thunderstorms. We're also going to be tracking some pretty gusty northwest winds throughout the entire day tomorrow. To get a huge drop in the temperatures, it usually takes some pretty gusty winds. So you'll notice winds around 25 miles per hour around 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. 74 high on Sunday, 73 on Monday, and then back up to normal for this time of the year by Tuesday of next week. But look at those lows coming up. Mid to upper 40s all the way through Tuesday morning. A woman